welcome once more viewers to this station which is the Westway TV and this is your presenter Reverend Samuel J. Prentre of the Global Culture Movement. The Mamuaka Babu at four Eba Westway TV. Ah programmer Global Culture Movement for Ediba Subrada in Arabia. Reverend Samuel J. Prentre MMA ah ebadwebibisunkokraa Buddha Sun Kao, Hindu Sun Kao, Sun Bebri, Kasame Uba, Yeri, and Na Ye Bessi, a share. Yay, here, say, I am Kufasun Kum, a beba, a small green in a in them. And I say, Yen Tai, na Yen 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 Dan same movie, the new book movie to say, Doctor Sharabutu. Ah, oh yeah, said you'll be a winning now or say, cream of food in a hanging over Ghana. And I'm going to two years a call, Catholic, a sorry, a won't cry. And no deal with you for her. Now, hanging a man. In Kenya, some go about swimming in them. You who send here, they hear say, You've been young, Brassier. Am I a way of home? Laying ya of a fashion, go so am I a way of home. In tea, they hear my say, You've been ya to swim me. A moon, sir, I dream as they say about a swim more than a hand. You hear here, they say the cost of me, sir. Open be a friend of Dr. Leonard Swedler. What should I be in here? Says I am for a bar swimming in them. Now, you have a share, sign your money. We are this evening learning from Dr. Swedler, who has indicated why it is important to have a kind of good relationship between members of various or communities of various religions. As it is, it has become very important these days to find out how best religions can relate to one another, particularly in Ghana. This has been so due to the effort by Dr. Shaributu, the chief imam of the Islam community in Ghana, when he strode into the Catholic Church in Accra in celebrating his 100th year birthday. So we now turn to Dr. Leonard Swedler, his teaching about interfaith dialogue. He defines this as a factor of the desire for the understanding of the other, that is the other religion, Sunnis and Shiites, then dialogue between Muslims and Christians, between Hindus and Buddhists. So these are examples of the type of dialogue that Dr. Swedler talks of. And Dr. Swedler, Okasafa here here said, Ngutangudi Alasa and Ngufasun Kumpo, Ever a small doing them. They say a cat Christopher Crow say, Yes, I'm good and be my own. They say Christopher, any Protestants, Catholics, any Protestants, or see it mean as I am buffet, charismatics, and I said Pentecostals and Evangelicals, or see in your side of buffet. Samson, I see eyes, any Sunnis, I would go soon or soon to your side of buffet. 
na few year can grow up for you now. You for you now. See, you are now. Now, you casa, you are not doing. You are not doing. Am I doing? Or see, a see, be not saying to pay. I walk in your sapping. So, yes, Swedla teaches that it is important to learn, change, and grow. So that is why we must relate to one another, so that we can learn between ourselves, we can learn to change and thus grow when we are learning from one another. He says another reason for interfere dialogue is to share and receive from others. No, when you are not sharing, you think you know it all. When you are not listening to others, you think you know it all. But growing Christians have a lot to learn from people of other religions. You know, when we read or seek to learn from religions like Buddhism and Hinduism, we have a different kind of awareness, a growing awareness about the environment, the ecology. And so it is important to seek to learn from others. Similarly, when we do that, when there is interfaith dialogue, we learn to live in honesty and sincerity. Because without honesty and sincerity, you cannot even have the interfaith dialogue. So as we seek to have interfaith dialogue, we we'll definitely will find the necessity in support of honesty and sincerity between ourselves. Then, it is also important to compare ideals with ideals and practice with practice, even as we have this interfaith dialogue. We know the ideals of the various faiths. One ideal may be about keeping strictly to rules, to laws. And then another ideal will emphasize issues of forgiveness, issues of grace. In fact, it is when all these come together that we can have a holistic understanding of issues. Then, it is important to learn to define yourself and similarly learn the self-definition of others. You know, as we talk about interfaith dialogue, it happens on the bedrock of the cause phenomenology of religion. In this course, we seek to learn various religions from the specialists of those religions in terms of their own logic. And as we do that, we are able to understand them better because it is about how they define themselves. And when they also do that to you, they will also understand us better or understand you better. We will thus also be able to critique ourselves the way we have understood or have assumed issues concerning people of other faiths. Thus, it makes us look at our beliefs and traditions critically as we seek to understand the other person's beliefs from within. As a and you may share Dr. Swedland, and yeah, reasons, Piaudiama. Ah, actually, here, here, I said, the Benya sa and Sawusui, and I said, the Brofunia Sintafi dialogue. The Benya say, say, in your sign, Uncle Faya, in your sound, come with ye, every one. The Bema, ye see, I did. Remember, you said a bit simple as a son. Now, ye mean. If you say, who's your idea, who's your baby, far from one? 
for God so loved the world. Say don't yamin door we are seeing ye. Say don't yamin door about ye ye. Say don't yamin door a summa who do ye na ye. You are not sham. You are not common. You are not a drunkard. You are used to be doing ye na sad. Amen.